What is up my good friends, it is your old pal Closet Gamer. We're back again for a little bit more Age of Engineering, that's right. So today, uh, we're going to look at getting our power situation sorted out. I've already made a bit of a head start. Uh, so I've done some tweaks and some fixes to my water wheel to make it efficient. I followed a little guide. Um, there was a guy that posted a really good guide. Uh, he put his in a glass box just for sort of uh, ease of explanation. Um, I've tried to make mine look a little bit more realistic. But I think it looks good. Quite pleased with it. I think it looks... Uh, quite uh, realistic. It's probably a little bit too low in the water. I don't think real water wheels are that low in the water, so I might raise it up a little bit uh, if I get a chance. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Um, right, so at the moment we are having a bit of a power crisis with RF uh, in a similar situation to where we were with our um, IE power, which is now with our industrial EU power, sorry, I should say, which is now well and truly sold for the time being anyway. Uh, this one is looking a bit shit. Uh, it's got to be said, our RF power situation is very poor. I made the fatal error last time of thinking that uh, our MV uh, capacitor held 10 million, but it actually only holds one, uh, and that's not good enough. So our vertical digger project is on pause. I've taken all the stuff off. I've put it in there. So it's just going to sit there until we've got uh, a bit more of a stable power situation. So I've been looking at all sorts of different ways of how we're going to sort our power situation out. Um, I think the best way for me to do it is by getting uh, oil generators. Uh, so if we look at these oil generators, these produce about 40 EU per tick. Uh, so these guys, I mean, not too bad. It's an empowered canola seed uh, and some iron casings. So what I'm thinking of doing is ultimately what I'm going to get is uh, two garden cloches. So two of these guys, I mean, these will bang out. Uh, canola like no one's business and you're talking about probably a stack every few minutes which is perfect so we'll have two of these bidding into uh, canola presses uh, which again the recipe is pretty simple pretty straightforward so maybe one maybe two depends how much uh, canola we actually generate and then I'm thinking four oil generators so four of these guys so if that's the case, you know, if we're going to go and do that, we might as well just do it properly. So four oil generators. There's a bit of an issue because the recipe for the cloche itself is not too bad, but the things that you need to make it are quite bad. Uh, so for a cloche, you need a farmer. Uh, and for a farmer, you need an advanced greenhouse. Um, and weakened diamonds, not too bad. You can make that with a normal calculator, with a um, like a scientific calculator. However, the large tanzanite is a bit of an issue. Uh, we need to use an algorithm separator for that. And an algorithm separator, again in itself, is quite complicated. So an empowered diamantine crystal requires um, lithium dust uh, and fertilizer. All of this stuff you can get, but the lithium dust requires uh, tiny piles of lithium dust, which requires a thermal centrifuge. I will need to make this all at some stage, but the thermal centrifuge itself again is quite expensive because it's uh, advanced control circuits uh, and energy crystals and things like that so what i'm going to do to get our immediate situation sorted out is i'm going to turn these two greenhouses into uh, canola farms so i've already got that going here so i've got quite a bit of canola coming out of this one uh, i'm going to take some of these and then i'm going to put it in this one as well so these are actually making prune seeds at the moment so these are now going to be canola farms tons of coal dust in there. I don't think I'm going to need that much coal dust. Then both of these will feed their canola seeds into uh, a press and those presses will feed our generators with oil. That's the plan anyway. Uh, so we're going to bash those up today I think. I'm going to bash them up. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put them. I think I might want to pipe my canola seeds underground and have like all my generation going on underneath the house. I think that could be pretty sweet and obviously we can use maybe like utility pipes and things to pipe stuff in and then once we get our cloches it can be all self-contained underneath the houses because the cloches don't need light do they so that should be pretty cool so first things first let's see about making um, our canola press so the canola press fairly simple recipe advanced coils uh, basic coils uh, and then some cobblestone and the nori crystals so let me go and grab all the bits I need for this and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think I've got pretty much everything I need. Uh, let's just wang some of these in front of our Dr. Evil 
space laser uh, and make up the things that we need. Right, so one of these, leg steel, and then this guy. Oh, and then, am I missing anything? Oh, we're just missing some canola. <laughs> It wouldn't be um it wouldn't be traditional if I had got everything that I needed, would it? Okay. Right, canola press. That you know that wasn't too bad, was it? We can maybe make another one of those. If it turns out that we're not making enough oil to feed four oil generators. So that once we get those sorted, that'll give us 160 EU per tick going on. That put with our uh water wheel will give us around two forty. And then on top of that we've got the windmills pushing out about 17 each so that'll put us up, put us up about 300 EU per tick uh, which is not too shabby um, the trouble is because this isn't a server I don't uh, leave it running so this would have probably worked if we had it on a server it would have just sat there churning away and would have uh, and would have made that for us um, and we'd have our vertical digger by now which makes me really sad I really wanted that vertical digger <laughs> I love I love a good quarry, and that's that's as close as I think I'm going to get for a little while anyway. Um, right, so let's look at these uh, oil generators. So, empowered canola seeds is going to take 2 million uh, doodars, I think. It doesn't tell me exactly how much, uh, but I think it's 2 million. So let's get some canola seeds, wang them in our empowerer, and then I'll probably sit around and wait for a little while whilst I get enough for four. Right, so I think I'm going to need like... 20 on I yeah because it's five per recipe five per recipe those can all go back in there how are we doing for these are these doing is doing all right so there's three canola out of that one already uh, and those oil lanterns are probably run out so I'll get some more coal in those as well uh, so the oil lanterns keep the uh, co2 levels up in the greenhouses because uh, you want co2 in greenhouses you don't want oxygen because uh, plants don't like oxygen well they do um, I don't mind it but plants breathe co2 they don't breathe oxygen Right, one of those, I mean, how are these doing? 800k in that one. Uh, so we've got, so we should have enough to do one, at least. Leo, what goes in the middle for this? Oh, crystallized, so I need to, uh, I need to put it in front of the uh, Dr. Evil moon. Dr. Evil secret moon laser. Right, so let me take uh, four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Right, I see, I understand. So it only takes empowered stuff in the center box of that. Right, okay. I understand now. Right, I'll be back once I've got four of these guys. Right, so that's our four uh, empowered canola seeds. So that didn't take too long, actually. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it didn't, didn't really drain that much power. I thought it was going to drain loads, but it's not. No, it's doing okay. It's sort of ticking up nicely still so I think we should be okay what I need to get is um, probably about 10 of these capacitors maybe a HV one as well maybe about four or five HV capacitors but we'll get that sorted out as well at some point uh, there's so much to do though I mean there's so much to do get all this power stuff sorted out I was watching um, a friggin awesome uh, tutorial uh, by mind crafters so that's not mind crafters but mind crafters and they did a bee tutorial. Um, it, I don't know how old it was, but it was really good uh, because I got this bee when I was in the nether in my last episode uh, and I was looking at it and I was thinking, I wonder what these bloody bees are all about because uh, to me, it sounds really boring, bees. But then I watched this tutorial and oh my God, I'm really, really looking forward to playing with bees now uh, because this tutorial really sold it to me. He's, he, this guy did a really good job. Um, so I recommend if you get five minutes to watch this tutorial because it was really good. Enough of my babbling anyway. Reinforced stone we need and we need iron casings as well. So that's going to be eight times four which is 32 black quartz, 32 iron. Let's go and grab these before I forget my numbers. Right, so I haven't got enough black quartz over there. Have I got enough black quartz in here? Yeah, I have. Right, half a stack of these uh, and then uh, half a stack of iron as well. Right, 32 iron. Okay, for the first stage, well, for the final stage of this, I should say. And then the centre part is so 32 steel and then 16 carbon plates and 16 advanced alloys. Holy crap, uh, have we even got enough steel? Right, we've got 26, so we need some more steel plates. So let's go to our drawer and then get another six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll put those in our metal former ready to go. 
Right, that's going to make us our last few steel plates that we need. So then 16 carbon plates as well, uh, which is raw carbon mesh, which is another... So 32 raw carbon fiber, which is another 64 carbon dust. Right, okay, I think I've got... Maybe, have I? Have I got some carbon dust? Um, I think I might have some over in my magnificent uh, display cabinet. What is this? Is this coal dust? Yeah, coal dust, but not enough. So let's grab a stack of this as well. And then we'll macerate that. So into the macerator with you. And then whilst that's macerating, we can start looking at our alloys. We're going to need 32 advanced alloys. And these are bronze, iron, and tin. Yeah, bronze. So iron, bronze, and tin. Right, so that's 3 times 16 which is 48, so I'm going to need 48 of each, so 48 plates of each one. So I've got one bronze plate, so I'm going to have to make a lot more bronze, uh, a lot more tin, and a lot more iron. So I'm going to make these uh, off cam. Actually, no, look, I've got enough iron. Have I got enough iron? No, not enough iron. So I need another, need another eight more iron, so they can go in. We can get those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those. They can go in there and get made. So that's the iron plate sorted. Uh, we need the bronze as well. Um, we've got four bronze there. Have we got enough bronze in our stash? Uh, we've got nine. That's not good enough. We need to make another like 30 odd bronze. Okay, well that's not a problem. We can do all this. We can do it. We've got this. We've got this, guys. Don't worry. Uh, and then we need to make um, some more tin as well. How much tin have we got? Uh, so we've got four there. Oh, hang on a minute. Look, I've got some advanced alloys there. Ah, okay. So, that changes the goalpost a little bit because I've got six. Right, I'll make these advanced alloys off cam and then I'll be back. Right, so I didn't actually need 48. Um, I actually need 24 uh, because each one of these gives you two, doesn't it? Very impressive. Yes, I can hear you all laughing now. Right, bang those in there. Right, now let's get our stack of coal dust. How's this doing? We've got enough coal dust yet? How much did we say that we needed? I think it was 64, wasn't it? It was a whole stack of coal dust. Uh, but we can make up um, as many as we can for the moment. So we've got six. So we're going to need like two each. Do we need like another 16 coal dust? Right, so I'm just going to wait for this coal dust to uh, be ready. So I think we're good to go. Uh, I'm just going to carry on making some more transfer pipes. Uh, and I'll also make a transfer node as well. And then I'll be back. Right, so our last few transport pipes. That gives us 30 transport pipes, which is cool. Very happy with that. Uh, we've also got our transfer nodes, uh, and I think we should have enough to make our five, uh, four sorry, um, oil generators. Ah, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We need two of these guys, basic machine cases, which is another uh, two per. We need eight times 16, which is fucking hell. 128 so I need two whole stacks of iron to be able to make that um, and I need it in plates as well so how much iron have I got? got one stack there and I've got five there have I got any crushed iron crushed lead crushed gold crushed silver okay I'm gonna have to go and mine some more iron but what I'm gonna do is already mine it in the nether uh, so I can get those bits and pieces that I need for my other stuff right so in this nice fresh hell that I've oh shit I was straight into lava what the fuck? Where did that come? That wasn't there earlier. And I nearly fell down here as well in this bloody... Jesus Christ. Right, okay. Well, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by being set on fire, um, I've created a nice little sort of mining shaft down here. Yes. Very nice. It goes all the way down uh, to like... I'm not sure. Uh, and the reason I've done this uh, thing is because... To make our algorithm separator, we need a couple of things. Uh, this empowered doodah, uh, which I need to get this Benetoit stuff. Uh, Benetoit is around uh, like Y, Y7, Y6 or 7 in the nether, but it only grows in the nether, or only spawns in the nether, I should say. So I'm going to get some of that. Uh, I don't need, don't need silk touch needed. I need silk touch to get the ore. Okay. Um, and I'll get some iron as well, hopefully, while I'm here. Uh, so I'm at Y, what, 8 now? But what I wanted to show you is, watch this. Look at this 
Look at the hammer go. Look at MC Hammer. Boom! What's this? Cinnabar ore? This is like insane mining speed. What is this stuff? Benetoit, see? Easy. No problem. And we just need to find some iron as well. First, let me see about iron. Nether quartz. Nether rack. I don't think it does. I don't think it actually does come from the nether. I don't think we can get it in the nether. Never mind. Right, I'll go back to the overworld and find some more iron then. Before we go back into our mining portal world, actually, before we go back into the home of Larry, let me just check that these are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, they are. I think they're still working, although I'm not sure if they're carrying on working while I leave when I leave the room. Uh, because it's like nine plates, and that goes pretty fast, that machine. I mean, it's not like I'm just sitting sitting around. Um, but I don't think there's any avoid in this situation that we are completely out of iron. Are we out of iron completely? Or have I got some in here? Yes, I have. So give me this iron back. Okay, so now we maybe have a, another whole stack. Maybe we do, maybe we don't, but we're definitely going to need some more anyway. So I'm going to go to our mining world, back to the home of Larry Larrykins, and then I'll be back once I've done some mining. Just doing some mining. I've uh, got found some gold as well. Pretty cool. Uh, done quite well for iron. Found quite a lot of stuff. Kind of caned my way through here with the old MC hammer. Just smashed my way through this place. More black quartz. Lovely jubbly. And some nickel. So we've got, what, almost two stacks of iron. Uh, some gold. And some lead. Uh, nay bad. Not a bad little haul. I mean, MC hammer really helps out because it just canes through the walls like no problem. Right, I'll head back topside and then I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, back home uh, with enough iron that should hopefully last us quite a long time. So let's grab this, chuck this all in the macerator, uh, and then we're just going to chuck the iron in there as well. Uh, probably chuck the rest of this junk in there. Got some bauxite, all this stuff. Cool, uh, and then this Benetwit. Benetwit! Not quite sure how to pronounce that. Benetwit, I think. I think I'll do my uh, gold member accent and call it Benetwit. Also murdered some sheep as well while I started out. So I've got a bit hungry. Let's bung those in there. Right, uh, I'm going to get rid of some of this junk. Uh, and then I'll smelt up the iron. Uh, turn it into plates. Uh, and then I should have enough and I'll be back. Actually, I wonder if there's a faster way to make these plates. There must be. Is there? Is there a, like a block cutting machine or something? I think I remember seeing something like that. Um, cutting machine. That's advanced rocketry. Um, what's this? Block cutting machine. Industrial craft 2. An electric motor. Uh, so it's two coils, two tin casings. Ah, uh, cool, we can make this. Um, maybe we should just make this instead. That's probably a lot more efficient. So stop this. Stop what you're doing for a minute, please. Furnace. Um, let me see if I can quickly make this. Right, need some iron in the middle uh, for a steel cutting blade, apparently. So there we go. There's that. Right, so that's cut in. Oh, that is quite a lot faster, actually. If that whole thing has to fill up, and that's going to give me nine plates. Right, so our iron is macerated up by the looks of things. Um, I've just put some in there. Um, so that should give us probably enough iron. We need 128 plates for these uh, for these four generators. Um, and once that's done, and I will come back. Right, so whilst I was waiting for my um, steel to be cooked up, I started uh, running my pipes from my uh, canola chests underground. I had a bit of a problem because I kind of realised that I built my house on a lake, flooded, uh, and kept soaking me every time I tried to put anything down, which was a bit of a pain, but there you go. What happens when you build your house on a riverbed? Right, I'm going to run these back, um, back to the house. So it should start filling up with our stuff. Yes, it has. Excellent. So our canola is flowing. Fantastic. Right, so we can replace this with our canola press now. I just wanted to check that it wasn't going to sort of... Because there's other seeds in there. Uh, but I did put some filters on there and I wasn't sure if they were going to work. So let's put our canola press to here. Nice. Uh, it takes RF, so we're going to need to run some power across. We can do that without too much problems. Uh, so let's bung some canola in there first of all. Uh, let's go back upstairs get some wire uh, and our 
other bits and pieces should be done. Uh, we should have enough plates now. Have we got enough plates? Yes, two stacks of plates. Jesus Christ, that is a lot of plates. Uh, let me dump off some of this junk, actually. Right, so a bit more cleaned out. So we should now be in a position to make our oil generators. Have we got everything out of the machines that we need to get out of the machines? I think, I think, I hope that we have. Uh, we need our advanced alloys. We need our black quartz. We need our power canola seeds. Uh, we need our connectors. Right, let's see whether we are in the position that we need to be in. Right, so eight iron casings. Finally, that was hard work. It was bloody hard work. I think we've got enough for our four oil generators. I mean, Jesus Christ, that was a bloody long exercise doing all that stuff. Uh, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But now we're in a good position uh, because we can get these four guys uh, piped into this one. Um, I wonder what pipes I can use. One, two, three four um i think i can use uh, the immersive engineering fluid pipes for this uh, which is this one uh, which is iron plates um times six but i get eight pipes and an eight pipe should be enough to to do it one two three four, six, seven. Uh, i'll probably get two lots of it actually because i'm probably going to move these at some stage uh, so let's get some more iron plates Right, iron plates, nice. Grab these back, uh, and then like this. Right, 16 of these guys. That should be plenty. I hope it'll be plenty anyway. Right, are you gonna work? You are gonna work. Are you getting the oil though? Why is this not pumping the oil? Not pumping the oil because it's got no power. Uh, it's got no power because I haven't plugged it in yet. Okay, no problem. We'll get it plugged in. Do not worry. Okay, so let's go back upstairs and get our connectors. And then we can wire this thing up. And then wrap up this episode, hopefully, uh, with a nice little bow on it. Alright, so MV wire relays, MV wire connectors, uh, an MV wire coil is what we need. And our cutters are nowhere to be seen, but we won't make any mistakes, hopefully. So, once we... Uh, how do we want to do this? On the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling should be okay. If I put it there, is that going to reach? Are you going to reach? From there to there. Nice, that looks okay. And then, um, so I need to, need to connect these to a central point to actually get the power all going in at once. Um, so, and that's going to look a bit shit if I don't do it nicely. So, maybe I will... Well, first of all, let's get some power going to this guy. So, another connection to here. Going down to connect that on the top there. And then that like that. And then this to there. That should be getting RF now. Yep. And it's processing the oil and the oil is coming out. What's going on here? Why has that gone like that? Is it getting oil? Yeah, look at this. Look at all this RF. 40 RF per tick per one of these. I might have to make four more. Right, let's get this RF back into the power system. So we need to come back uh, through to the top of uh, our box, don't we? Back into our power network. So it's not going to go on this line because this is the output line uh, and this is the input line, okay? So the input line, uh, for the moment, um, we're going to go sort of just... don't want to do it. I don't want to make it look messy. I know it is. What about if we go like this? I mean, this kind of looks a bit industrial, doesn't it? Do you think that looks okay? I think that looks alright. 
I think that looks okay. Um, so we need to get back upstairs to our box. Now the best way to do that would probably be to go up uh, through this way maybe. Right, up there like that, across there, across there. Not using this one, it's the wrong colour. Like that, and then like that. And then along here and then down. Right, okay. One, two. Oh, I can't attach it to there. Right, I need to go up. And then along. And then along again. And then along again. And then down. And then onto the floor. Down like that. And then to there. Right. Loop complete. So these should now be outputting. Um, if I've got my hammer. Now they might not output actually because I think we're full up. So we're full up all over. Hopefully this is not just going to carry on burning through stuff. Okay, so now we've got all of this RF uh, sort of ready and stored and being generated. I think maybe we'll start with our thing and we can just leave it running because we're going to be generating such a ton of RF that it won't matter. Um, so let's let's get. I'm so keen to get this uh, vertical digger sorted out that I just can't help myself. I'm just going to do it. I'll do it and I'll wait and I don't care and it will be fine. Uh, right. Oh, it was cold coke, wasn't it? There it is. Right, okay, cold coke, uh, ink, black quartz, necrotic bone, void crystal. Draining quick. It's draining rapid. These are draining. Using up all my energy, it's sucking everything out. This is draining. Not going to be 12 million, but we're generating so much RF, it doesn't really matter. I mean, look at these guys, they're ticking along. So much canola oil, ridiculous. Let's see how our uh, canola production's going, actually. Got invaded by silverfish earlier, and they wrecked the floor. I'll need to patch that up at some point. How's it going, canola production? Whoa, loads in there. Quite a lot of coal dust in there. So it looks like it's sent. Ah, oh, I need to get rid of this. That's why it's not working. Stop planting canola seeds. I want. Stop planting prune seeds, I mean. Don't want prune in here. Greenhouse. I want canola. So. Take some canola from over here, and you have some of these. Okay, use those. Thank you. Okay, so I think what we need to do uh, for the next step of our power system is to create some more capacitors uh, because what we need to do is be able to store a ton of a, a ton of power because we're still draining because we haven't got enough storage. Uh, we'll be okay to, to generate it. Um, I think we'll be fine now with all of our different systems. Uh, but I'll create some more MV capacitors in the next episode. But for this episode, we'll wrap it up. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Please let me know. Um, and I will see you guys next time.